The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham. Obviously a very well-known book. It's upside down. This is the slipcover of the Folio Society edition. And it gives you a bit of a hint as to what's inside, because this is one of my very favorite Folio Society editions. It is absolutely packed with lovely illustrations, really nice. Uh, I'm going to show you what happens to a book when it is not protected. As you can see, it's protected. It's been protected on the sides because it's been in the slipcover, but the spine itself has been exposed to light and it has faded. And that's what happens. So here's the spine. It still looks nice. The wind in the willows. This illustration on the front is actually glued in. This is a separate piece of paper that's been glued in here. Let's have a look inside. The paper is very thick, very thick. And it has a bit of a texture to it. Now, I'm not going to stop and show you every edition. I mean, sorry, every illustration it's illustrated by Charles Van Sandwick. It's just absolutely packed with illustrations. Just look at these. Look how beautiful that is. I mean, how sweet. How sweet it is. Let's just have a little flick through here. There's a page without illustrations, so we found a couple of those. But most of the pages aren't going to have illustrations. Look at these little guys. How can you not love it? After reading, you know, 1984 or Brave New World, or some dystopian novel, or All Quiet on the Western Front. Come back here and read A Little Wind in the Willows. Just too many illustrations to point out. And it absolutely beautifully fits the text. This one is still uh, being published, I believe, by the Folio Society. You can go pick it up if you want a brand new edition. Unlike a lot of my Folio Society books, they don't make them anymore. Uh, you can still usually get them used for a reasonable price. Folio Society books often hold their, or rather lose their value because they hold their quality. So they publish them, people keep them in slip covers, and they keep them nicely, and they, uh, and they keep them nice. And you can often find them for pretty good quality at a pretty good price. But this one you can buy new. I almost want to buy another one. I almost want to get another one just so I can always have it no matter what happens to this one. I love it. <laughs> okay. That's enough. Close the book on it. The spine still looks nice. If the entire book were this color, I would be okay with it anyway. As it happens, it's been a bit of a fading. The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham. This is a Folio Society edition.